Attitude. In this video, we are going to see how to insert images on the text editor. You can see this is text editor. You can see on the left and on the right, you can see there are images. This can be added just by clicking on the button insert image on left and insert image on right. Now, let me show you if I refresh it, it will be nothing. Now, let me paste some paragraph. If I click on the paragraph, you can see the paragraph is appended inside the div and this div is editable. If you remove it, you can see there is only space over there. Now, if I add the paragraph again, I want to re replace the text. Let me make this paragraph a little bigger just by copy pasting the same text again. Let me make two or three paragraphs so that we can image we can add image left and right side if i click on insert image right you can see it, it will allow you to choose a file now let me add images on the left side if you click on the button it will allow you to choose the image you want to select and it will be appended into the paragraph fine in the console there are no error as you can see we are going to see how to create this insert image into the text editor and the paragraph. I have already created a video on how to insert font awesome icons inside the text editor. So this is a video I have already created. It is a full fledged one. You can see that you can make bold, you can make italic, text on left, text on right. You can have paragraph with font awesome icons, link and link, undo, redo, heading, font awesome icons. You can see the heading has font awesome icons along with the styles. So I leave you the link. I leave this link in the description so that you can follow along. So in this tutorial, we are just going to see how to insert image. So this is the notepad. You will I will paste all the things in the description. You will also get the source code in the description. Fine. Now let's get into the first step. I'm going to show you. So if you extract the file, this is how the file will look like. You will get one HTML file, one JavaScript file, one CSS file. Let me open it in my text editor and I'm going to show you what the HTML looks like. Let me remove all this JavaScript and start from scratch. Let's save it into the backup.test. So in case if we get stuck somewhere, we can refer it. So you can see the button is inside the list item. We are just going to focus on the button. So you can see the button with paragraph with ID paragraph. The second the button with ID. We just have to look at the ID, but in, but this image has one more tag in it. The, it is input type equal to file. Whenever I click on the button, this input type equal to file will be triggered. So by default, it is going to have style display num. This is same for the right side image. Now let's add paragraph to the editor. So let's call the button by its ID. As I said, each button has ID. We will call it in the JavaScript by document.getElement by ID and store the element in a variable called ID. So a variable called paragraph. Now what we are going to do is we are going to add a listener to the button. That is whenever I click on a function, whenever I click on a button, it should get it should trigger some function. So whenever click, I click, I want this function to get triggered. Whatever right inside this function, it will be triggered when I click on the paragraph. Fine. Before that, we need to know what this text area is. You don't have to worry about the classes and ID, but you have to make sure your content editable equal to true. If you remove it, it will not allow you to. Now you can see I can type. If, if I refresh it, I have removed the content editable true. It is not allowing me to write anything over there. So if I make content editable true, so right now you are this div is edited, editable. Now document. This document is simply refers to the content editable div. Inside the document, I'm going to execute a function. It is simply execute command. And the first one I'm going to insert HTML. So this is the legal command whenever uh, inside the document that is content a content editable document I want to insert an HTML so that HTML will have paragraph with text insert paragraph here insert paragraph text here so I'm going to add classes also so this class will be justify align center so that there won't be any space around left and right 
of your paragraph so let me check if i refresh it if i click on the button the add listener will append the paragraph using the execute command inside the content editable div fine now the next thing if you these are the documentation of content executable command so there are more than 15 to 16 executable command i have detailed i have gone through detail in the previous video i'll leave it in the description i'll leave the link in the description now let's get into the image add image to html editor and make it float left fine now the same way we are going to call the id of the button and the id of the input type equal to file let me save it into a notepad so that we don't have to go here and there again and again so let's add so these are the ids of button and input type equal to file now the next thing i'm going to call the button by id and i'm going to store it into a variable called image insert left now the same way i want a listener so when i click on the button i want a function should get executed and that function will again trigger the hidden input type equal to file as you already know on click the button click the input type equal to file so we have we already know it. we have a id specified on the input type equal to file so get the element by id and store it into a variable and this will be clicked dot click we will append it dot click so whenever i click on the button in again it will click the hidden input type equal to file so it you will get the choosing you will allow you are allowed to choose the images because of the click function added to the input type equal to file now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add listener to the input type equal to file whenever there is a change that is whenever i select i want the, the selected to be stored into the file reader object so the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to create the file reader so let me show you how to create the file reader object so to create the file reader object get the reference variable and initialize it with new file reader now you make sure the f and r is capital and the reference variable here is reader left ifg fine now get this chosen file from the input type file using the index so to get the in chosen file we need to get the input type equal to file we have already given the id so this is the id and to access it file start zero index zero so it will allow you to give the it will give you the chosen file so instead of the long code you can just replace it with the variable which you have already defined above and store it into a variable called chosen choose file left image if you console and log and check because of the files this dot files index 0 you will get the chosen file now you now if you refresh it and click on the button it will trigger the input type called a file now you can see in the console the chosen file has shown up because of the index file zero is for the first file one is for the second file since we need only the phone file we are passing zero to it now what we need is we want to append the image using executable command by read dot unload so this is a variable of the file reader it has a function called onload and uh, we will initialize it we will initialize it with nameless function now what we need is we are going to get the name of the function name of the file previously using the this 
keyword we got the whole section but we just need the file name for that we will get e dot to get the file name e dot target dot result it will give you the file name let me store it into a variable and this e dot target dot result will give you the block blob that is binary large object which is not readable for human which is not readable for human as well as for the javascript so for the image we would be using the code insert image now this url now again as i said we are going to append the html which is in previously we were appending paragraph now we are appending the image so the value i'm going to pass it as i have already said the url is in the format of blob which is not readable for javascript we have to convert it using a function called read data as url so before that let we are manually giving the style float left and uh, let me give the height and width as 150 so whenever i click i am dynamically appending the image to the editable div now as i already said we cannot the javascript cannot read the url to read the url we need to pass the file to the function name called which is inside the reader reader object read as data url so it will convert the blob into the readable format for javascript now if you click on the url you can see this is this can be readable for the javascript previously it was just a file now you can see the file name it is now in the readable format now if you select something you can see it will be displayed on the that shows the error ignore it we will solve it one by one you can see the error is because we have used insert image because previously we were using insert html now it's insert image we have to replace the insert html with insert image with insert html because we are appending the image to it not the insert image let me forward it Now you can see I have converted it to insert and HTML. If you click on the image, it is properly appending, but you will find an error to it. You can see there is an error. It is because just read the file only, there is a file. So I'm going to use if else. So I'm going to select the file first time. And it will be loaded on the editable div ignore this one i will go through it so before that what you are going to do you are going to about the file reader so that error will be eliminated now even if there is no file the reader will go away fail to execute readers data url on file reader the object is already busy loading that's the reason why we have aborted it it's in a debugging mode let me remove the debugging mode if i open it and i don't choose anything you can see there are no errors it is because of the abort fine we have done the about and we have checked if there is the chosen file then only read the data so we have solved the two error now again we are going to do the same thing i'm going to copy paste it for the insert image on right just make sure to properly name the file reader and the chosen image file 
so this is the id of the button and this is the id of the input type equal to field input type equal to file which is hidden the main thing what you have to take care is change the file header reference variable name since we are using two file header make sure to give two different file header name or else it won't work and uh, again the same thing this dot files change the variable name of chosen file using this dot file index now you can see i have not changed slide style equal to float left float left there it will cause error for me i have to change the style inline style before that let me make some paragraph so that we can add images on left and right side of each paragraph now i'm clicking on right but the image is not left it is because the inline style then change the inline style and save it again now if i refresh it now it will work absolutely as per our needs i'm going to in insert the image on the right side choose the image it is done now let's append the image to the left side and again the right you can see there are no console errors usually this type of code will give you so many so many console error we have solved it by using the about function and using the read as data url by checking if whether there is file or not get the source code in the description thank you so much for listening